On this side we've got a turbo switch, CPU fan and 4 pin power supply for the CPU. I think that's about it for all the ports we have on the board. I you thought know, it had another fan output for a case fan. Video in the right kind. Ah, there it is. Right in the middle there's a case fan. Alright, so uh, this is just a very low spec board. It's kind of like the CPU you'd expect in a netbook or a very low powered laptop. Absolutely ideal for running 24 7, just for a lightweight NAS, which I'm planning to build with web touch storage. You, or you could even use this as a media player. Thanks for watching. See you next time. So inside we've got a mudboard and an anti static bag. Under here, let's see what we've got. So we've got, so we've got a quick start guide, user guide. So there's a very small fan, it's about a two inch fan. I think that's optional, you can, you can run it without that, but I think if you're running the computer 24 7 or doing a lot of processing on it, then it's an idea to install it. We've got a driver disk. An Asus aluminium sticker going on the front of a PC case. Two 6 gig SATA cables and a motherboard back plate. Which is very plain actually, there's no colours on here at all. It's just got a little written information about what each port is. Right, so taking a look at the board, we can see you've got the processor and a pre installed heat sink. It's a nice blue heat sink on top of it. So that AMD E450 processor comes with an integrated graphics that's Radeon HD 6320 graphics card. Let's turn it around and have a look at the back plate. So the connectors it comes with on the back are combined mouse and keyboard PS2 port, two USBs, optical out, HDMI out, analog monitor output, DVI digital monitor output, Two USBs, Firewire, one eSATA, one gigabit Ethernet, two US, two USB threes, and speaker, headphone, and line in. Turn it around again. Okay, so looking at the expansion card, so we've got PCIe X16 running at four speed, PCIe X1 and two legacy PCI cards. Looking at the ports on this side, I think we've got two IE1394 firewire ports, an LPT parallel port, four USB 2s, pins for the hard drive LEDs, power on LED, on off switch and speaker, serial port header, That's all the headers there. Turn around to this side, Four, so five SATA ports, SATA six gigabytes, 24-pin power supply, and two memory slots 